today's question is how to have glowing skin. One of the methods which we discussed already in two previous videos of us of our channel would be to use sweating perspiration. And that also kind of explains an interesting observation because if you start to see like other people who have problems with acne or we have like pimples on their face, it's actually very common for people to have acne somewhere in this area of the face but not on the forehead. So why forehead remains clear? And so therefore when we detoxify, when we start to sweat with our upper part of our uh, face, with our forehead, that explains why acne, pimples and other abnormalities will really appear actually on the upper part of the body because detoxification here starts very fast, like if you go to sauna, spend whatever, 10, 15, 20 minutes, this part start to sweat profusely, but to get sweat down here, it's actually difficult. You can get it with having uh, intensive, long physical exercise and you can notice actually this part of the body starts also to produce sweat to detoxify themselves. So sweat methods, again, like using sound, using physical exercise, or using combination of both, because you can do mild, light physical exercise, or you can go for hot yoga, which combines physical exercise with hot temperature. So that also uh, very strong detoxification techniques, the combination. So this is one method, and we have more information in our videos about these techniques. Now, another technique would involve diet. So which types of food we can use, and how we can use diet in order to get glowing skin, in order to have like really glowing skin on the whole surface of the face. Now here in this area, we need to compare metabolic effects of two types of food, um, two type of nutrients. So here we're talking about energy sources. And as energy, humans use mostly two types, either carbohydrates, glucose, glucose in the bloodstream, or when we switch to low carb diets and many popular diets, we also kind of have low amount of carbohydrate, maybe down to 100 grams, some diets 60, 70 grams. And there is ketogenic diet, which is therapeutic ketogenic diet would have only 20 grams or less of carbs because we use fat as the main energy source. So if we compare these two energy sources, carbohydrates, glucose versus fat, we are going to discover that actually ketones from fat, which gets into the blood, takes two, three months to, to sorry, two, three weeks to adapt, because it's not so easy to start this diet. A lot of people get craving, so we can feel like a little bit mood swings, and we need to, to make certain steps to, pre, to reduce these negative effects. And so when people um, have low carb diet using fat or high carb diet or modern ordinary diet, we produce very different effect on the skin because we also produce different effect on inflammation. In one of the studies I mentioned, and there are several studies which replicated the same result, we discovered that those people who use ketogenic diet, who are in ketosis, who are adapted to have high ketones level in blood, similar as when people have, for example, during fasting, these people produce much less inflammation. In one study we measured, again, like 14 inflammatory markers in blood, and we found that for high-fat, low-carb diet, all levels of inflammation, all 14 inflammatory markers were lower in comparison with amount of inflammation produced by modern carb diet. Even if you eat organic food, if you eat like even if you eat uh, raw food, you would still be using uh, glucose as the main energy source. And in this case, you are going to produce more inflammation in comparison if you use fat and your inflammation will be reduced. In addition to that, there, there are a couple of studies which discovered that ketones actually have an additional vasodilatory effect. So we are able to expand arteries and arterioles by relaxing smooth muscles which are located around these blood vessels, arteries and arterioles. So muscles are relaxed, there is improved blood flow and improved circulation. So therefore, ketogenic diet or low carb diets, they are going to provide better blood flow and better circulation, providing better blood flow for the whole area of the skin. So this, this is a technique related to diet and you can find a lot of information online on YouTube, particularly hundreds of videos with doctors, practitioners, nutritionists who taught hundreds of, of sometimes thousands of their patients with excellent results also to reduce weight, to fight diabetes, heart disease, cancer, other conditions. Now, an additional technique which I applied on my students, I had many of my students completely uh, to, who were able to completely reduce the acne problems, 
the problems again with pimples and uh, maybe roughness on the skin, having like some fat sources on the skin by improving the body oxygen test results. And these results I already have seen uh, 5, 10, 15 years ago, even before I knew about ketogenic diet, like with low, low uh, carb, high fat diets, and also before uh, some of these students may not even do uh, a lot of physical exercise with perspiration, they may do walking or power walking, some other exercise without enough sweat, and they were still able to achieve great improvements in, in terms of their skin health by uh, changing their breathing pattern. So when people start to slow down their breathing pattern, they improve body oxygenation, so they get more and more oxygen because circulation is improved. Uh, never mind that uh, most people I know, I, since I spoke with thousands of people during my lectures, workshops, uh, most people believe that when we breathe more, we get more oxygen, but again, medicine physiology proved uh, using hundreds of studies that hyperventilation or breathing more than the tiny, tiny medical norm, uh, hyperventilation reduces blood flow circulation and body oxygen availability, so amount of oxygen present in body cells. So therefore, when my students start to improve their body oxygen test results, usually at the level about 30 seconds, uh, 30 plus seconds, and especially 40, 50 seconds, we will have dramatic improvement in their tissues because inflammation becomes naturally eliminated. First, it gets reduced with about 30, 35 seconds for the body oxygen test in the morning. And when we achieve further and further results, we uh, experience even bigger improvements in the circulation and blood flow and oxygenation of all organs. So inflammation is completely eliminated. But what I like most about this technique, for example, rather than do only sweating, like using the physical method, using sweating, perspiration, or using sauna, what is great about breathing retraining that it allows people to reduce their sleep dramatically, naturally, so that people start to naturally sleep, like I see my best students, like four, four and a half hours. And Dr. Buteka, who developed this uh, so with breathing retraining uh, method, Buteka method, uh, he himself and some of his doctors slept only two hours, so like in super yoga masters, like centuries ago, the same result. And that was also possible with breathing retraining. So breathing retraining, in my view, kind of the central part of the program that uh, my students use, and that allows to, uh, yeah, to achieve really good skin health and to get glowing, have glowing um, skin on the face and to help you to eliminate inflammation, other abnormalities in the human body.